for a refreshing start to a meal, try a bowl of gazpacho. And Jamie's recipe for this colorful soup is filled with a fresh and nutritious blend of garden vegetables. So gazpacho. Gazpacho, yes. It's from a Spain, cool Spanish soup. Right? Exactly. Mainly tomato based. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we'll take some bread. Okay. This is just dry bread um, and soak it in water. No, it's, a it's, little bit. It's a little bit. Okay. Uh, that'll give the body to the soup itself. Oh, okay. okay. We're going to take tomatoes, um, which I've peeled and seeded already and roughly chopped. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you how to peel them as well. Great. This is what it looks like when it's peeled. Wow. And then some yellow bell peppers, cucumbers, a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar. Oh. And then um, salt, pepper, and some olive oil. Okay. So it's nice, simple, not too many ingredients. And are those onions oh, up there? Oh, sorry, yes. What are those? This is shallots. Shallots, well. okay. Yeah, and we're going to throw those in as well. Okay, nice. Yep. So the key to gazpacho is that it's a cold soup. Correct. And tomato-based. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much the beginning of it. Exactly. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, cooking is all about flexibility and changing things up, knowing what your flavors are. Right. And just experimenting. Try things out. That's the best way to learn how to cook better. Is I like to, that. Um, just, you know. Wing it. Wing it. Right. Exactly. Have fun. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Fun is good. Yeah. So first thing we're going to do is take this bread, and we've got about three cups of water in the blender already. Okay. And we're just going to get it, let it soak in there for a minute, hmm. and that'll kind of... So that's my binder in this, as exactly. opposed to a flour or something else. Yeah. The bread. Yep. Interesting. So I've got these tomatoes here, and I got one for you to peel okay. yourself. So the secret to peeling tomatoes mm -hmm. is you want to take them and um, put it in hot boiling water for about 10 or 15 seconds. Okay. No kidding. So you put a little slice at the base of the tomato. Okay. And then what happens is the peel comes up. Oh, wow. Really easily oh like that. So 10, 15 seconds, that's it. Yep, that's it. In hot water. In hot water. Wow. Hot boiling water. Okay. And then this is what it looks like without the skin on there. Look at that. Um, if you so just mind, peel that off. Me here. And then we'll just cut this in half. All right. Okay. And then. And so. De seeded it as well. Yeah. What we're going to do so is we take don't want this. The seeds. And we're just going to take out the seeds like this. Just stick your finger in there. Okay. And go. Pull that out. Any reason why you don't like the seeds in there? Because when they go in the blender, they'll all get all chopped up and kind of Icky. have a reedy texture to them. Okay. So, so how's that? I got, I got perfect. One That's good, right? You did a great job with that. Thanks. So <laughs> I'm just going to roughly chop this up okay. like that. Okay. And we'll just put that in here Nice. with the rest of these tomatoes that I've already done. Is there any reason why this is a cold soup? Do you know? Um, it's typically served in summer, so okay. it's a really nice, cool, um, refreshing, refreshing soup. soup. Yeah. Okay. And then I've got, oops, you know what? I'm going to hold back need? some of it. Um, I'm going to put the peppers. yellow peppers in here. I'm going right. to hold a little bit back for the end so we can garnish it as well. Okay. Um, so we're going to put the remaining bits of vegetables in there at the end. And what that's going to do is it'll um, give it a little bit of texture Okay. right at the end. Got it. So, now you said you used the English cucumber on that. Yes. These, any... are, these are English cucumbers. They're, they're the long ones. Okay. You can use any kind of cucumber, like the Kirby cucumbers are the little short ones that are used for pickles. Got it. Um, you can use those. Just seed it out. Peel it first mm -hmm. um, and seed it out, and then that way you can have uh, just the, the flesh of the... Is that why you got the English? Because they have a little less seeds, right? Or, or something like that? They do like have that? fewer seeds, okay. but they're also longer, so it's That's less why. work versus okay. you know, <laughs> That's why. doing... Three or four of them, you just one long one. One long You're one. good. Yeah. All right. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a bit of salt and pepper. Okay. A little salt, a little pepper, and throw and the apple cider vinegar as well. That too. Mm -hmm. Now, what does this do? Give it a little Give zing. Give a little bit of a zing. Yeah, it's some acid that uh, that picks up, brightens up the soup here. Again, acid. You you have acid thrown into exactly. almost everything that's, you that's do. Exactly. That's really a, a good the key. big cooking secret is, is have it's, some lemon or some vinegar, a little bit of you know, apple cider vinegar or something right. like that. Did, now, do you put the olive oil in there too? What or we're going to do yet? is um, drizzle that in. Oh, okay. okay. And that'll kind of emulsify and, and make it a little bit um, creamy. Creamier. Almost. Yeah. Now, why do you drizzle it as opposed to just putting it in? Um, because it, it comes in and it incorporates a lot better if you put it in slowly. Okay. So oh, this wow. is just on the slowest speed setting here. That blends right up. Yes, I'm gonna need a bigger blender too. <laughs> it's gonna start spurting out at you. <laughs> so we'll just 
juggle this in slowly like this. Woo. Woo. Now, can that be made without a blender? Uh, or it's really, a lot easier with a blender. You need the blender. Yeah. Because you want it really fine and... You want to get it so that it's nice and smooth and texture. Okay. Yeah. So texture, but, but nice yeah. and smooth. Yeah. Wow. So Look at that. See this? It's got a nice texture to it and kind of smooth and... I'm gonna run out of space here soon, so. What do you need? Do you want me to move something? Grab a little bowl. Want one so of these? Pour some of all. Okay. Yeah. Now, how do I know how much oil I need in there? Um, just blend it till it's smooth. Blend and, it till it's smooth. Yeah, and then you've got. Uh, you'll, you'll, it's. I mean, you, I put in about half a cup of olive oil. All right. Um, kind of by eye, just kind of drizzle, eye, see exactly. how it's working in there. Yeah. So, okay. okay. Now I can do this a little bit better with the, some more space in here. Right. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Sounds intimidating. <laughs> and what the oil does is it really gives you a nice mouthfeel. Um, so it kind of... Just uh, even listening to the blender, you could see how it smoothed it out inside exactly. there. Exactly. Okay. So now we're going to take our remaining little pieces here. Got it. And just pulse it for a second or two. And what that does, it gives you a little bit of a texture. Got it. Okay. So that's in there. Nice. And we'll just kind of use a pulse button. A little bit. Yep. And just keep your hand on top of the blender and that... So it doesn't <laughs> fly out of here. <laughs> Whoa! Oops, like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay. So... That's it. That's it. The tiny much. little bit. Just to pulse it around a little bit. Exactly. And okay. all that does is it chops up those pieces so that they're really nice and... Um, oh, we're getting rid of that. Yeah, yeah, we'll You're done with that. Pull that out. All right. You're nice. So they're nice and uh, <clears throat> it gives you a little bit more bite to it. That's so, gorgeous. Um, what I'm going to do is just taste this to make sure that it's kind of on. Doing good. It's got a little bit more salt and just a tiny bit more vinegar in here. And that'll give it a little bit more of a bite. Okay. Yeah. You can also... Um, where my lid go? Here it is. This would probably be a good opportunity to use the gourmet salt on the top of that a little bit, right? Yeah, I mean, a little you can use the gazpacho and a little gourmet. Sal, things like that. Right. Another fun thing to do is um, use, um, if you get a chili, like a, a Thai chili or a jalapeno chili, okay. that'll give it a, a little bit more of a spiky Hot. bite to it. Now, yeah. would you blend that or just plop it in? Um, you'd blend it in. You the blend beginning. it in. Yeah. Otherwise, someone's going to get a surprise. A mouthful <laughs> of hot. Yeah. So wow. I'm just going to take this. Look at that. And so a summertime or springtime soup. This is exactly <clears throat> when you're this too hot nice, to eat the hot soup. Exactly. A nice cold soup. Well, wow. especially since we're coming out of winter now, and this Thank is a great Lord. pairing Look with at that. Um, with the panini. A little that we panini, just made. a little gazpacho. Yeah. It's a really nice springtime lunch. You can go outside on the garden or on your deck That's or whatever. That's it. That's what I do. Have a, a little have patio. a little bit of panini, and you know it really That's doesn't nice. take that much effort. Um, can I try it a little bit? Really good. Absolutely. Let me try this. Yeah. Wow, look at that. It's so hearty looking, yep. too. Mmm. Mmm. So it's a really mm. nice, complex flavor in there, the vinegar you It's have. like blended vegetables. It is. <laughs> it's good. Yes. It's, like, it's, it's much like a better vegetable for you smoothie. Than, than like a, yeah, like a a, those commercially prepared <laughs> vegetable Ooh. juices where, yeah. you know, it's all right. salt. You have absolute control over mm. what you put in here. Mm-hmm. And again, freshness is key. Um, taking That's the most delicious. fresh vegetables that you can get your yep. hands on. Blending it up that. like this and mm. just treat it very simply. Yep. And don't try and go crazy with anything, you know? No, and this is really good for your body mm -hmm. because it's blended, you know, it's pureed a little bit, so yeah. it's going to absorb. It digests and you've got really quickly. Everything and... going on in there. I love that. I taste the cucumber, mm -hmm. I taste the pepper, I taste the tomato. Yep. Really delicious. Yep. And the bread gives it a little bit of uh, mm. oomph as well. Yeah, that. it's not too liquidy. Yeah. yeah. But I like that. It's very good. And it's refreshing. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel like it's spring. It is. <laughs> it is. You know, and you would think that, oh my gosh, I have to have a soup that's hot. Yeah. But it really, it doesn't even taste like... No, cold soup is a wonderful way to... to yeah. To it's not even it. like a soup. It's, mm -hmm. It literally is like a little, whatever it is. <laughs> I like Vegetable it. Vegetable smoothie. <laughs> Vegetable smoothie. That's it. With my pinini. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks, Jamie. No problem.